the buck stops with me. Well, the buck stop got President Trump shot. How are you guys all doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. I am. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance, man. I am Ty Smith. I want to appreciate every last one of you guys for taking time out of your day to view my channel and the content that I put out. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed above here and the ones below right here. And hitting this right here. When I say hit, from I, I know some people are like, what do you mean by hit? Click the like button. That pretty much telling YouTube to consistently recommend my content to you, the American people. And it also helps push it out there in the algorithm because what happens is that individuals like myself who look like me, who talk like me, who have common sense, our channels are being heavily suppressed and shadow banned. So it's going to be up to you, the American people, for this message to get out there. Last but not least, if you think that you are subscribed to my channel, I urge you to double check to make sure that you still are, okay? Because YouTube, unfortunately, we know who they're ran by. They are unsubscribing people from the channel. It is what it is, okay? Appreciate it, Deacon. All right, have to talk about this, folks. Now, I know I'm going to keep on it. I don't care as much as it come out. Although y'all might hear me repeat a lot of things that I've repeated in prior videos, I, 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 I have to because I'm not going to let this stuff, I'm not going to let up. We are not, I don't care how professional it sounds. I don't care how assertive they try to come off and be. There is no excuse. Nevertheless, though, I know y'all want to see a video. And here it is, the director, Kimberly of uh, Secret Service, kind of giving some words on, you know, hey, I, you know what, y'all just watch it. This morning, a new FBI and Homeland Security bulletin sent to law enforcement nationwide reveals on the day of the Trump rally, Thomas Matthew Kirks purchased 50 rounds of ammunition from a gun shop in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Also, that two improvised explosive devices were found in his car and home. Sources say on the day of the rally, Crooks, a member at a local gun club, told his father he was going to the shooting range, and that's when his father gave him the rifle used in the attack. FBI investigators say they've conducted hundreds of interviews and scoured his social media and phone, but a motive remains unclear. The Secret Service director sitting down with our Pierre Thomas, calling the shooting unacceptable, promising transparency in the investigation. The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service, and, and I need to make sure that we are performing a review and that we are giving resources to our personnel as necessary. ABC News has learned heavily armed police were stationed inside the building, which was being used as a law enforcement staging area, but they did not see crooks climbing up the outside of the building. He had a direct line of sight to the former president, roughly 400 feet away from the stage. Officials say a police officer confronted him moments before. Videos from the scene show people tried to alert police 86 seconds before the first shots began. Well, the director of the Secret Service is due on Capitol Hill Monday. This is for a hearing on the assassination attempt. Meanwhile, President Biden has now ordered stepped up security for former President Trump. <laughs> OK, now, wait, wait, wait. Now, before I get on Kimberly, uh, before I get on Miss Cheadle. This is very interesting, isn't it? The son tells him, I'm going to go to. The son tells the father he's going. he wants to go to the gun range. Ammunition purchase. Takes the gun. Now they got it. Come on, we got to look more into this now. So the father, every time your son goes to the gun range, he goes by himself. This is strange. This is just like what happened up here in Chicago. Same exact type of thing. Parents. Kid is different. But at the Chicago thing, y'all come. This is this is all this stuff. This along with the Uvalde stuff, same type of stuff. Y'all getting the same. Look, I was in high school when we first got the mass shooter, Columbine. They came and locked our school down and everything. We way in Illinois, Decatur. They come and locking the high school and everything down. Right? They make them all out to be the same type of thing. All my long hair, long coats, dark. Da -da -da. They were always bullied. The Columbine shooters. They had good parents too. Just weird. This is just weird, man. So the dad, uh, y'all, y'all, do you guys know where I'm getting at? He was bullied, got good parents. Oh, dad, I'm gonna go to a shooting range today by myself. 
Now, I'm not saying that you can't trust your son to go do it, but the boy is 20 years old. I don't know what the age is there where you have to be to be a legal gun owner or where you have to be able to go on a range. I don't know. I know in some places, some states, in order for you to go on a range and shoot, you have to be with a legal adult. Even though you are 18, some places require you to be with somebody that's over 21 years old. I'm just telling you all that. I, I don't know. This may not be the case. But still, rounds and everything was perched. Man, hmm. this is going to have to be for another video. Back to this chick. Now, there's word that she has no plans of stepping down or anything like that. But trying to sound real like she's on it, you know, which, <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Y'all know what I'm trying to the buck stops with me. I'm the director of Secret Service and da, 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 talking about being transparent, blah, blah, blah. The excuse, there were policemen in that building and we don't know how he climbed up. We know how he climbed up. You want to know how we know? We, the people, were there. Saw the dude climbing. Hey, he's army crawling. He's bear crawling. He's on the roof. We got video. They're telling the police. If the police, them, did you tell me the police them were this sucky? Did nobody communicate it? Uh, yeah, yeah. The building you guys were in, there's a guy climbing up on the building right now. And if they did tell the police there, did any police come running out that building? They said the building that the dude climbed up, the police were in there. So did the police not alert the other policeman that was inside that building that it's a guy crawling up on the roof with a gun? The police officer that confronted him. Supposedly this dude confronted the shooter and the shooter turned the gun on him. What did that police officer do? I'm not going to make no assumptions, but I'm just saying to me, it sounds like you definitely didn't pull your gun out and say, freeze, don't move. Don't you effing move. Don't. Did it happen? I didn't see it yet. I don't have video of that. Everybody that have sent me videos in, the anonymous people, none of these videos that I've gotten thus far show any police officer that supposedly confronted him. Not saying he didn't, but they don't show any video or audio of this police officer saying, everybody get down, shoot on the roof, shoot on the roof. Him calling in, I have not seen video of any of that yet. Does it exist? I don't know. You guys haven't sent it to me yet. So as of right now, I don't believe it. That's all I'm saying. I, I just don't until I get it. I don't believe it. Now, to piggyback on this director, who they're saying that she says she's not going to step down. You need to. You, you guys have a no fail, a no fail stance. You failed in medicine right now. I'm in the position of a director. If the clinicians that work under me do something wrong, yeah, the responsibility as an individual is going to fall on them. But guess who's going to be getting called from the, from the board? I am. How did this happen? How did you let this happen? Did you not know that this nurse wasn't coming? Did you not know that this doctor wasn't coming? Did you not know that this, ther this therapist wasn't coming? Did you not know that the administrator of that building wasn't coming? Did you not? How, how, how did this happen? Because of this, a human being has lost their life. And it's a good chance you're going to lose your job. I'm literally in the business of working with people. We call them patients in medicine. If something was to happen to them, it's going to be investigated. It's going to be negligence. And whatever happens within one of our facilities, the administrators of that specific facility is getting ready to be grilled. Plain and simple. They are going to be grilled. And if it's one of mine, they're going to be grilled by us. And then the ones who are above me, I'm going to be grilled by them. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it works. You have people's lives in your hands. And to not make sure that every T is crossed and I is dotted, make sure that, I mean, y'all, there's so much stuff that we got to do in medicine. And we still end up getting malpractice. We still end up getting hit with negligence. Thank God. I'm not going to knock on wood. I just thank God we, I haven't got any of that yet. And I've been, what, in this role for some, gosh, 20, 15-ish. Yeah, but no, absolutely not. She needs to step down. She failed. If I hire in somebody and I do not do no thorough background check on them, doctors, whatever like that, I don't know if this doctor was once a drunk. I don't know if he has so many malpractices, da, 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 da. He gets in there and he injures and hurts somebody. Although he may be reprimanded for what he did, 
they're going to come right at me and be like, yeah, mm -mm. this person almost lost their life, Ty. This person almost died on the table because you have this incompetent doctor in here. Plain and simple. So the fact that as a director, I'm pretty sure she got intel on that facility, the building, whatever like that. And if she didn't, whoever she put in charge of the lead secret serviceman, I don't even know the word for it. Did he report back to her and say, this is what it looks like, boss. This is set up. Here's a parameter. This is where we're going to be. You know, so to give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. So if you look at this right here, right? You look at that board. Jesus Christ. Can I do like this? Would that work? Uh, I just, anyway, my point is, he would have stood before with a drawing board. Here go the buildings right here. Here go the X, Y, here go the buildings right here. Da, 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 da. President Trump's going to be speaking right here. We're going to have a guy right here, 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 and here. We're going to have a guy on the water tower. That's how it should have been. But no, they left that open. I'm sorry. This is negligence. And the fact that a human being was harmed and a human being lost their life. Bye-bye. You need to step down. They need, we need to demand that she steps down. Completely step down. There doesn't need to be a thorough investigation. And all. We all saw it with our own eyes. Do not let them trick you and make you think you didn't see what you thought you saw. You don't know all the ins and outs. You don't know. Yes, we do because we were there. We saw. We got video. We got every last angle. We got when the shot went off. I got it live on my channel. I We have everything. And that does not mean that because you guys are going to do a thorough investigation with all your da da da, da We're going to do an aerial this. We're going to run every camera. We don't need y'all cameras. It's out there in the open. Y'all left President Trump open to be shot at openly you didn't take you see when you talk about protecting if there's an imminent threat you don't wait for the threat i'm gonna see if they're gonna do something to me first then i'm gonna respond man that's crazy that's crazy to me am i going overboard with this what do y'all think do you think she needs to be fired and every last secret serviceman that was supposed to be i get i don't even know all the ins and outs, but i'm just gonna tell y'all the guys are spraying into action Good on them. Y'all did see how President Trump came to the RNC convention, right? RNC convention. Y'all see how he came to the RN convention. He came there with all men, big men, taking no chances. So do you think she needs to lose her job and that every secret serviceman needs to be investigated? Every police officer there that needs to be investigated? The police officers that were all in that building? I have no idea why they will all be stationed in that building. But that's what they said right there because, of course, they're going to try to throw the police under the bus and not take the accountability for it. Anywho, make sure y'all do what y'all see going on in that visual right there, if you would, please. That means you're checking to see if you are subscribed to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up before y'all get out of here. Let's see what y'all have to say. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.